Hey, you guys, welcome back to Married to Film. Listen, here's part two. Her friend's wearing a Dharma jumpsuit. Puts us in the 70s, 80s. The guys with the bags, others. Beats me. Watch your own, know each other. Before my time. <laughs> Soya, walkie. I need to go. Good morning. Listen, sweetheart, we gotta get moving now. Who are you, people? Our shipwreck here on the way to Tahiti, but that ain't important right now. Because <laughs> whoever's on the other end of this, those two might have given them a call before we saved you. We have to bury them. Bury them? We ain't got time to bury nobody. We have to. The truth. Oh, God. We have to bury them. And, and we have... We have... We have to bring him back home. We have to bring Paul back with us. Please. Please. Y'all don't want this face. <laughs> I'll tell you. All right, put these guys in the ground, carry your friend back. But we better do it fast. He wasn't my friend. He was my husband. All right, listen up. When we get there, there's going to be a lot of questions. So just keep your mouth shut. Let me do the talking. You really think you can convince them that we were in a boat wreck? I'm a professional. Okay. You ride for a living. It looks like some sort of sonic fence or something. Where did you say your ship was going? Listen, sister, we're the ones who just saved your life and hid those bodies. So how about you trust us and turn that damn thing off? That sonic fence, did I say let me do the talking? One more step down, what a fright his brain. His brain's already fried. <laughs> and she grabs something. Okay, it's off. No, it's not. Let her walk through it. Mm -hmm. You first. Right. Whatever she got in her hand is uh, protecting her. See, it's fine. All right, let's go. Going forward, we should all do a better job of trusting. <laughs> Situation. The baby's breach. Tell me. It's upside down. She needs a cesarean. Don't tell me about it. Just do it. I'm an intern. I'm an obstetrician. Our women always deliver on the mainland. Amy was supposed to get on the sub on Tuesday, but the baby's two weeks early. <laughs> can you deliver this baby or not? I don't know. She can deliver that vaginally. You don't always have to have a C-section for breach births. Hey, Amen. Was that Tony Stark? <laughs> What's up? Amy's having her baby. What? Did you hear me? She's in trouble. Doc says she needs a cesarean. We have an agreement. Screw our agreement. He ain't never done one. I'm guessing you have. Don't you understand that every time I try to help a woman on this island give birth, it hasn't worked? Well, maybe whatever made that happen hasn't happened yet. Right. You gotta try. You gotta help her. You're the only one that can. Your baby's breech? Yes, but... Did you try an external cephalic version? Oh, right, but no. I'll bring you later. I'm gonna need a number 12 scalpel, 14 gauge sutures, half round if you've got them, and... I'm gonna need you now to do this. You're gonna need... Where is Horace? I'm speaking for Horace now, and I say she's still bring this baby. I don't think it's a good idea. I don't want her. I don't want her to do it. Huh? You heard the lady. Stop bringing new people into the mix! <laughs> You're gonna do great. I know you are. Juliet. Juliet. Pulled her out of retirement. Any luck? We 
finish grid 133 today. No sign of our people. No one. How long do we look, James? As long as it takes. Wow. Mm. That's a healthy baby. Boy. He's okay? She's okay? Everyone's okay. <sighs> Three years earlier. <clears throat> just after they got zapped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he has a beard. Mm -hmm. This is how I'm gonna know. How's your head? How's your head? It hurts. Oh, no, no, no. He didn't know. Where are my people? They're fine. Amy told me what happened in the jungle, and I really appreciate what you did. Well, y'all got a funny way of showing your appreciation. Look, we have a certain defense protocol. There are hostile indigenous people on this island, and we don't get along with them. <laughs> so, why don't you tell me who the hell you are? Le Fleur. <laughs> my name's James Le Fleur. You can call me Jim. How'd you get to the island, Jim? My friends are safe. Why are you asking me all the questions? They told me I need to talk to you. That's mm. right. You said that you're the boat captain. We got caught in a storm. <clears throat> Shipwrecked. Must hit the reef. Thankfully, we washed up on shore. <laughs> what kind of ship? Salvage vessel. I'm searching for a famous lost wreck. It's an old slaver out of Portsmouth, England. It's called Black Rock. <laughs> Murder? Can't say that I have. So once you got washed ashore, why were you then wandering around in the jungle? Some of our crew were missing. We were looking for them. So we came upon your girl instead. Well, <clears throat> I tell you what, Jim. If your crew shows up, we'll send them along with you. Send them where? There's a submarine that leaves this island first thing in the morning. You and your friends are going to get on it. It's going to drop you off in Tahiti. You can find your way home from there. Wow. Okay. Hold on a minute, Chief. We just saved that woman's life. Doesn't that earn us a week or two to find the rest of our people? Nope. Only people that are allowed to stay on this compound are members of the Dharma Initiative. Mm -hmm. And look, I don't want you to take this the wrong way, please, Jim, but you are not Dharma material. <laughs> We're screwed. <laughs> He's probably trying to explain time travel by now. Sorry, he's going to be fine. What are you looking at? I lived here for over three years. Okay. That was my house over there. <laughs> you were in the Dharma Initiative? No. The others took over these barracks and wiped out most of the people living in them. They brought me here on a sub a long time after that. Well, welcome home. That's Charlotte. Yeah. Somebody will be along shortly to show you to your rooms. In the meantime, Mr. Lafleur here can fill you in on the situation. We're now part of the Harvard Initiative. <laughs> Mr. Lafleur? It's Creole. I improvised. What happened in there? We well, believe my story. Well, we're getting punted. Bastards putting us on their sub tomorrow and shipping us off to Tahiti. How's that bad news? <laughs> told me you were coming, I would have turned the fence off for you. That fence may keep other things mm. out, but not us. Mm. The only thing that does keep us out for us is our truth, which you have now broken. I don't know what you're talking about. 
Where am I to? Uh, You know what? Getting on that sub is starting to sound like a great idea. What do you say? Sub? Anyone? Hold your horses, Bonds. I no one's getting on a sub. Okay, LaFleur. How well did you bury those bodies? Well, that depends on how hard he looks. Call the arrow. Tell them we're at condition one. Take the heavy ordnance and make sure the fence is at maximum. Yes, sir. Let me talk to him.